Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to solve exercise 6.6. .6. I said we are going to solve but actually we are going to just discuss. First, the curved surface area of the cone is 40 70 centimeter square and its diameter is 70. What is the slant height? Diameter is given, curved surface area is given and diameter is given. You have to find out the slant height. Remember diameter is given not radius. So radius will be half of the diameter. So diameter is 70 centimeter. So the radius is 35 centimeters. Okay, don't forget that. Otherwise you will miss the answer. So this is a direct substitution of formula. Very easy. Let us see second one. The base radii of a two right circular cones of the same height are in the ratio 2 is to 3. Find the ratio of their volumes. Now they have stated that R1 and R2 are in the ratio 2 is to 3. So R1 is equal to 2x and R2 is equal to 3x. Now see the formula for the volume. So V1 is equal to 1 upon 3 pi into 2x square h and we will divide by v2 because we want to find out the ratio. So v2 is equal to 1 upon 3 pi 3x square into h. So what you will get? These commons will get cancelled and so here you get 4x square upon 9x square whereas the x square will get cancelled and you get 4 is to 9. So the volumes of those cones are in the ratio 4 is to 9. We already solved this kind of uh, example while we were solving the examples for cone. So this is very simple. Okay, let's go for the next example. The third example is a cone of a height 24 centimeter. Third example, height is 24 centimeter. Has a plane base of surface area 154 centimeter square. The base surface area, area of base is 154 centimeter square. Find its volume. What is the formula for volume? 1 upon 3 pi r square h. Now in this case h is given and area of base is given. Area of base means this area of base is nothing but pi r square. So this is equal to pi r square. You can directly substitute this pi r square with this pi r square that is 154. So you have 1 upon 3 into 154 into 24 volume. Please pause your video and solve this example. The answer is 1, 2, 3, 2 centimeter cube. Please check your answer. Fourth example. The curved surface area, the curved surface area of a cone with the base radius 40 centimeter, radius is 40 centimeter, is 1640 pi, 1640 pi centimeter square. Find the height of the cone. Find height of the cone. Now they are given the curved surface area that is pi r l. So from this you will get the l. l you can easily find out. Now substituting l and this r in this formula you can find out the height of the cone very easily. So please pause your video here and solve this example. Height of the cone is 9 centimeter and slant height you might have got 41 centimeters. Let us go for the fifth and last example of 6.6. The curved surface area of a frustrum of a cone is 180 centimeters square. The curved surface area is given 180 centimeters square and the circumferences of its circular bases are 18 and 6 centimeter. Circumferences are given okay from the circumference you have to find out the radius 
you are given circumferences that is this circumference c1 is given as 18 centimeter and this circumference c2 is given as 6 centimeters you have to find out the slant height of the frustum you have to find out the l very simple you have got the circumference that is 2 pi r and here also 2 pi r so you can easily find out here it is r1 and r2 you can easily find out r1 and r2 what will be r1 it is 9 upon pi and it is 3 upon pi we have already solved this kind of example okay this is the repetition of the example now you have to just substitute in this formula pi r1 plus r2 lf and you can find out the slant height because circular area is given now it is just substitution of formula because the curved surface area is given r1 plus r2 and only l is unknown but in this case actually you don't need to find out the 3 upon pi and 9 upon pi from here we'll do something that will minimize our calculations can you see that here pi into r1 plus r2 if i add up these two c1 plus c2 what will happen 2 pi r1 plus 2 pi r2 is equal to 18 plus 6 okay that is 24 right now here 2 pi r1 plus r2 is equal to 24 correct what we want there pi r1 plus r2 so pi r1 plus r2 this 2 will go this side so pi r1 plus r2 will be equal to 12 so instead of going for this fraction and again doing the calculations there this is the easy method though you want to go from uh, by this method doesn't harm it because 9 by pi plus 3 by pi again this pi will get cancelled here 9 plus 3 is 12 so you can go either by this method or direct method direct substitution method doesn't harm one and same okay you will get the same marks if the answer is correct you will get the full marks okay so you can go by any method so please calculate the slant height right now pause your video please the answer is slant height is 15 centimeter please check your answer so here we are finishing exercise 6.6 .6 and now we'll move to the next topic that is sphere and hemisphere thank you